Okay, memory diagrams two. So we have some uh, memory state diagrams here, and we're going to write the code uh, that produces them. <clears throat> so here I can see that I've got a uh, ticket object, and the ticket object has two strings by the looks of it, and an integer. So I'm going to write that code in BlueJ, and then I'll paste it in this uh, this window. So we've got a ticket class we have to make. Okay, so a ticket uh, has got a name and it's got a seat number. You could imagine that this is a uh, plane ticket. So we've got the ticket class. Um, we're going to write, we're going to make a, another class with a main method. I'll just call that trip because that's what the example told me to do. So in the main method, I'm going to create the ticket. <clears throat> and according to the diagram, the object is called flight. So to initialize the fields in ticket, I have to give a first name of Chris. The last field is not initialized, uh, and I can tell that because it says that it's null. That would be the same as just not putting an arrow at all. So I'm not going to uh, initialize that, and it'll stay as null. The seed number is 23. So. So if I run this program, there's no output, nothing happens. Uh, what I could do is I could put a breakpoint here. That would allow me to look at the object, sort of uh, frozen in time, using the the uh, the debugger. So the debugger is showing it's showing the ticket object um, partially initialized. It doesn't show that the seat has been initialized and that's just because I put the breakpoint at the beginning of that last line so that's why it still shows a zero. But you can see that we've uh, we've created this uh, this situation. So I'm just going to take my code for notes purposes I'm going to put that in my note. And 
that's our solution. Okay, so it's example two. Um, in this situation, we can see that we have an array of strings uh, called friends. And two of the string references in the array are have, have been given strings, but the third one hasn't. So we're going to do that in BlueJ. So for this one, I'm only going to have the class with the main method. Declare a string array, and I'm going to initialize it using an array initializer. So I'm just going to add one sort of instruction that doesn't really do anything, and that's just so I can set a breakpoint here. So let me put the breakpoint here so that this can finish, um, so that this line can finish executing, and then we can inspect it. <clears throat> There's a breakpoint. And when we run it, we can see that the friends string array has been initialized like this, similar to the picture. And we'll add this code to our note. You could have also initialized um, this string array in, in, in another way. So we could have actually done an alternate solution. Create an empty array and then initialize the elements. So we've initialized the first two, and the third one is null. same result. So, terminology. A 
class is a template used to create objects. So in the case of the first example, the class was the ticket class. In the second example, um, we didn't make a custom class, but we made an array of strings.